Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and I've been spending the day here at Disneyland. We're in New Orleans Square, where they have their restaurant, Cafe Orleans, where they serve their Monte Cristo sandwich. It is a battered, deep-fried sandwich. It is so good, served with powdered sugar and some jam. We're gonna make it at home, so let's show you how I do it. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. It's time to put together this wonderful sandwich. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by making the batter, which calls for one and three quarters cups of water followed by one egg, and my friend has chicken, so I'm getting these farm fresh eggs right now, and they are so good. So now we're gonna whisk this together first. I like to try and do a figure eight if I'm not using my electric mixer. Next, we're gonna add one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour. Get that in there. And then followed by a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And you're gonna to wanna to whisk this for a good minute or so. Scraping the sides as you go. Okay, after about a minute or so, all the little lumps are gone and it has kind of the consistency of your pancake batter. All right, I'm gonna use a deep fryer. You don't have to use a deep fryer if you just have a pan with some oil, but we're gonna preheat the temperature to about 365. Now we can assemble the sandwich. All right, you wanna make sure you use a nice soft white bread. This is an artisan bread I've been getting at my market. Um, you can also use egg bread, uh, challah works well. And the classic sandwich at Disneyland uses two pieces of ham followed by two slices of turkey. And it's just deli sliced. You can get it at your deli or prepackaged. And then we're gonna to top it with two layers of Swiss. Now this sandwich originated in 1910 in Paris and it was known as the Coque Monsieur. And they used Gruyere cheese, I believe. And Disney came up with this in 1966 at the Blue Bayou restaurant and they've been serving it ever since. Now I'm gonna take a couple of picks and I'm gonna go in through the top part and kind of go down at an angle so we can hold this sandwich together while it's frying and, and we're doing the battering. So one on each side. All right, carefully lower it into the batter. I'm just gonna take my tongs, give it a turn. And then we're gonna pick it up out of here and we're gonna carefully put it into the fryer and let some of that batter, excess batter drip off, like so. And here we go. I like to push it down a couple of times before I turn it, just so that top part doesn't get too soggy, get a little oil on there right away. All right, after about four minutes, it's starting to brown up. Now you can either let it sit here like this on each side and keep turning it, or you can hold it down under the oil with your tongs. Just be real careful, because uh, this oil could splatter. I don't want to get burned. Okay, I think it's golden brown. It is done. I'm gonna carefully take it out of there, put it on a plate with some paper towels to let it drain. Just gonna let it cool for a few. All right, after it's drained, take your knife. We're gonna cut it in half. You can see the inside of that. Oh my goodness. You gotta give it a little dusting of powdered sugar from the heavens. And I just have my little strainer here with some powdered sugar. Make it look nice and pretty snow-capped sandwich. Okay, you can see I'm serving this with some fresh red grapes and also some raspberry jam there. That's the traditional jam. Uh, Disney offers a mixed berry jam right now. And they also offer just a cheese sandwich, Monte Cristo, with uh, mozzarella and brie. Oh my gosh, I bet you that's delicious. So there you go. The Monte Cristo, the mighty Monte Cristo sandwich. You ready to take a bite? Did you see how easy this was? If you go to the restaurants and order this, it could be kind of expensive. 
because there's you know it's a labor intensive sandwich and if you want to do it a parisian style drop a fried egg on top of that bad boy all right let's take a bite forgot the jam what am i thinking all right we got to put the jam on it what was i thinking a little more jam jam on it jam on it all right, here's the second true bite. Or you can watch me eat this whole sandwich if you want. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. All right, folks, give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. And if you have any other restaurant ideas or resort ideas that you want me to try, shoot me a comment. And as always, thanks for tubing in. Mm.